갑자기 내게 나타나준 너난 아무 말도 할 수가 없어 Giving suggestion What is asking and giving suggestions? Apa sih asking and giving suggestions? Asking and giving suggestions adalah Ungkapan-ungkapan yang dapat kita gunakan Untuk mengekspresikan bagaimana cara Meminta dan memberi saran kepada orang lain Ataupun seseorang Nah, jadi biasanya kita memberi saran terhadap seseorang itu ketika ia memiliki sebuah permasalahan ataupun terhadap sesuatu hal tertentu. Oke okay guys, firstly I'm going to tell you about how to ask for suggestions in English. Saya akan menjelaskan terlebih dahulu tentang bagaimana meminta saran. For more detail, untuk lebih jelasnya, let's see. The first expression is, what should I do? Apa yang harus aku lakukan? The second one is, can you tell me what I should do? Bisakah kamu katakan apa yang harus aku lakukan? The third one is, can you give me some advice about? Dapatkah kamu memberikan beberapa nasihat tentang? The fourth one is, please tell me what should I do? Kumohon, katakan padaku apa yang harus aku lakukan. The fifth one is, Any idea? Ada ide? The sixth one is Do you have any ideas? Apakah kamu mempunyai ide? The seventh one is Do you have any advice for me? Apakah kamu punya nasihat untukku? The ninth one is Will you give me some suggestions please? Maukah kamu memberikanku beberapa saran? And the last one is What do you recommend? Apa yang dapat kamu rekomendasikan? Oke okay guys, if you have another way to ask for suggestions in English, please type it in the comment column. Silakan ketik di kolom komentar. Secondly, how to give suggestions in English? Let's see. The first one is you should. Kamu harus. The second one is I suggest that you should. Saya sarankan kamu harus. The third one is, I think you should. Saya pikir kamu harus. The fourth one is, maybe you should. Mungkin kamu harus. The fifth one is, I suggest you to. Saya sarankan kamu untuk. The sixth one is, I recommend you to. Saya rekomendasikan kamu untuk. The seventh one is, you need kamu membutuhkan The eighth one is You had better Kamu lebih baik The ninth one is You ought to Kamu harus And the last one is I advise you to Saya menyarankan kamu untuk Nah, mungkin ada pertanyaan dari teman-teman Apa yang harus diisi pada titik-titik tersebut jadi, kalian bisa isi dengan saran atau nasihat untuk seseorang yang meminta saran tersebut. Baiklah, untuk lebih jelasnya, mari kita lihat contoh percakapan berikut. Hi Andy. Hi Ali. Why do you look so sad? I'm confused. Why? Do you have a problem? I haven't been able to pay the school administration. Do you have any advice to me? I think you should ask dispensations to the school. It's a good idea. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi Nia, how are you today? I feel disappointed. What's wrong with you? I got bad mark English examination yesterday. Don't be sad. I'm certain you can get marked better next time. And you should study hard. Thank you for your suggestion. It's okay. Don't mention it. Okay. I'm tired. I think you should go to bed. I think you should go to bed. You shouldn't go to the cinema. You shouldn't go to the cinema. I have a toothache. You should go to the dentist.
You should go to the dentist. You shouldn't eat sweets. You shouldn't eat sweets. I'm too fat. You shouldn't eat cookies and sweets. You shouldn't eat cookies and sweets. You should eat more fruits and vegetables. You should eat more fruits and vegetables. You shouldn't drink soda. You should drink water. You shouldn't drink soda. You should drink water. Giving advice with should. Shouldn't. Why don't you? You'd better. And if I were you, I would. I'm tired. I think you should go to bed. You'd better go to bed. If I were you, I'd go to bed. Why don't you go to bed? I think you shouldn't go to the cinema. You'd better not go to the cinema. If I were you, I wouldn't go to the cinema. I have a fever. You should take some aspirin. You'd better take some aspirin. If I were you, I'd take some aspirin. Why don't you take some aspirin? You shouldn't go to school. You'd better not go to school. If I were you, I wouldn't go to school.